I ain't never seen nothing like this what in my life. Bro, you talk about the freaky lust. Nigga, I ain't never seen that hat in my life. Where you get that from? Biological urge. This guy right here, scam likely, is the freakiest man on. Okay, this is bad because I was trolling at the start of this when I said if this nigga was talking about me or not. This nigga actually kind of looked like me. That's bad. The entire <laughs> internet. Never in my life have I seen so much dedication to getting some buns. This guy is top five Hall of Fame freak of nature. Damn. Caught that nigga a freak Yo, of nature. Guys, Pime at seven here. We are back you at always it. on your freaky shit, shit. We see on the internet, all right? But yo, last today we are talking about a guy named Scam Likely, all right? Scam Likely is a TikToker that makes that content name for his is day to day life, Likely? all right? You probably think, yo, he's going to water the grass, he's petting his cats, he's playing Half Life 2. F no. Scam Likely is the freakiest person on the entire internet. I literally got to give y'all a warning before are we you watch sure? this. Hold on, nigga, hold on, nigga. Hold on, nigga. Are you sure, nigga? I I've come across a lot of freaky niggas on the internet yes nigga on the internet not in real life i'm not going to diddy parties nigga shit he's done that i have to talk about is low-key criminal if you guys don't get the pitch at this moment a lot of his content is based on his day-to-day -day interactions with the opposite gender you okay bump now, his rock? Name's like like what you mean do i bump like rock the the fucking the streamer, Rod? Like his, do I bump his music? Nigga, I'm not from Philly, nigga, nah. Hopping back in May and April when he went to Japan. So this guy goes to Japan, right? Think he's gonna have a good trip? No, he's going to Japan to have a bunch of good times with a bunch of Japanese women, all right? He states this in his first- Wait, what? So this guy goes to Japan, right? Think he's gonna have a good trip? No, he's going to Japan to have a bunch of good times with a bunch of Japanese women, all right? He states this- I mean, I don't think we can get mad at that nigga for this. Like, like I'm supposed to be angry at this nigga? Oh, he's getting pussy. In his first video talking about the birth rate in My Japan boy Donnie is very is low. Live. And they say, whoa, a lot of Japanese girls like black guys. Now, the content in itself is nothing I haven't seen before. A lot of people call this passport bros. The Philippines, Vietnam, the Dominican Republic are very popular places that a lot of passport bros go to to have intercourse with a lot of women. For, I guess, just literally nothing. Like a real he was basically on a freak kill streak i'm talking about every single day he was knocking something down all right he's knocking all these chicks down he's having a good time he's making content on it but this is the part that i'm like i'm like what, what is we getting mad at my nigga this this sounds like the life like what do we like this this sounds like a fantastic life fucking blows me right here okay my man gets the clap not only the clap the double clap all right double tap bo2 my man's caught gonorrhea in chlamydia on day seven of his japan tour now you probably think Yo, he's gonna wrap it up, you know, chlamydia and gonorrhea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this nigga got the eggs. Yo, nah, bro. Can't lie, I was tapped into his Patreon. Meek, why are you such a gooner, nigga? Damn, we don't need to know about your goon and methods. Korea, that's a big thing. That's something that can mess with your health as a healthy man. He says that, no, he's still in the game. I refuse to let this stop me, though. I understand that I'm the star player and I'm injured, but I'm still going to carry the team and put up stats. What? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. This is where we get mad at this nigga. And I'm like, wait a fucking second. You're still in the game with gonorrhea and chlamydia. Bro basically became the Magic Johnson of Japan, all right? Unlike Magic Johnson, he didn't stop playing. Bro was still balling in the game, in which I gotta say, this is 100% completely illegal. He goes on to make two more videos in which he has a good time with two more women without telling them he has gonorrhea and chlamydia inside of his body. This time I waited for a Ling Ling to come up to me. Five minute Google Translate conversation. Boom, back to my room just like that. What's wrong? Yeah, in which I gotta say, this is 100% a crime. First of all, these are two crimes, all right? Paying for intercourse, which... He, he's, he's giving diseases. Yo, he's giving these claps. Yo, bro, this is crazy. Game is game? No! Game is not game! He kind of hinted at, and then having intercourse without telling the partner that you have two serious STDs. These aren't just little gummy bear STDs. You have serious STDs that could honestly harm somebody depending on the statue of their health, okay? Listen, man. 
Listen, man, this ain't it. This ain't it. That ain't it. And this Nigga entire Japan story top, comes bro. down Y'all to a terrible <laughs> ending in which he Hell. was hanging out with this chick or whatever. They were in a club and passion. he was drunk. And I guess the Japanese men there were jealous that he was talking to a girl is what he says in his video. And they beat his ass, basically. God damn. This nigga got jumped in Japan. <laughs> Tell me this nigga got jumped in Japan for talking to Japanese hoes, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. That shit racist as fuck, nigga. How you gonna beat a nigga ass because he getting bitches and you not, nigga? That's tough shit. That nigga getting bitches with claps. Yeah, that nigga got it, bro. That nigga got it. I've never seen or heard anybody do anything like this in my entire life, all right? You went to Japan to have constant good times with Japanese women. You yeah. caught the clap, double clap, and then you constantly keep having having good times with women without telling them you got the double clap double tap my brother is down for the count man round four he going outside but you guys are probably thinking this is where it ends right nothing can get worse than this <laughs> that's a fucking lie it can always get worse and it does get worse all right he comes back home and he keeps making his usual content in which the content is the freakiest shit ever all right he goes on with content talking about his first gum job all right if you guys don't know what a gum job is it's basically um a good time with a person that doesn't have teeth fucking crazy right Nigga, how do you even, like, set that up? That shit would feel good. But the only problem is, nigga, the only b that don't have no teeth, nigga, is grannies. And it's like, I'm not gonna lie, nigga. I'm not trying to get my meat sucked by no, by no granny, bro. I'm cool, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm all right. He basically came up with a new season of his freaky ass show called the RSO Tour. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still giving you guys a warning to click on. What do that shit stand for? The video. But if you guys want to know what the RSO Tour means, is basically him having a good time with random S offenders. Oh my God. Okay. All right, my nigga, we going too far. <laughs> We getting, we getting, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This nigga, this nigga lost the, he, he lost, he lost the vision. He lost the plan. He lost the vision. He lost, he lost it all. He still got the platform. Yeah, he got the platform, but that nigga done lost his sight. <laughs> nigga, what? You cannot do that. That's not, like, that's not okay. Listen, guys, I'm 23 years old, guys. I'm 23 years old. I have never seen anything like this. This guy basically looks up on the S offenders list in his city, DMs the S offenders, and then meets up with them to have intercourse in a good time. And then not only that, film the content and upload it on his OnlyFans Patreon. What the fuck's Nigga Meek, you said you signed up for his Patreon. This is what the fuck you were watching? No, he was trying to charge 15 for the premium. I was on the fr So, hold on, let me get this, let me get this right. You signed up for You signed up. Hold on, hold on. Let me get the Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me lock in. Let me sit up. I don't know how you found out about this nigga, but you found out about the nigga. You signed up for his Patreon. Willingly. You willingly signed up for his Patreon. So you liked. You liked something about the nigga to sign up for his Patreon to watch him specifically f bitches. That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. You could have, nigga, you could have went on Batty Hub and did your one too. You could have, but you ain't want to do that, bro. You wanted to see specifically how that nigga was fucking hoes. He talk a big game and I wanted to see if he could back it up. My chat is lost. My chat is lost. My chat is lost. This is the first RSO tour in which he found the oh. S offender, found their Facebook, and found their charges out, all right? Her charges are human trafficking with a minor. Jesus Christ. I've never seen anything like this. I don't even know what the fuck is happening, all right? And as he begins to link up with the girl, he plugs his exclusive content saying that if you guys want to see the in-game footage, you're going to have to subscribe to go see that freaky content, bro. This is insane, guys. And also, I forgot to say this. This kid is 19 years old bro he's 19 years old looking up s offenders to go have intercourse with them for content see this is how you know niggas brains really just wired differently that nigga the same age as me Am I tweaking? I can't co-sign that big brother. And basically, he keeps the RSO tour going on, eventually showing people how to do it, in which, hey, I'm not all for that at all, okay? A lot of the people on TikTok are showing people how to co-sign that big brother. And basically, he keeps the RSO tour going on, eventually showing people how to do it, in which, hey... 
day one of the RSO tour. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically wherever I'm at, I'm gonna be treating the registered offenders list like it's Tinder. So after about 20 minutes of scrolling, I had to settle for something. I mean, of course she's you bald and right it's a mug shot, but I see potential. Y'all already know what to do by now. Go to the Facebook. Make sure they match up and send that message. I told y'all I see potential, man. You gotta like add the catfish points extra early. First, let's check her charges real quick. Human trafficking. Minor, what the f Uh, Basically, she put a minor on the blade, so that's freaky enough for me. This time, I went for a different approach. It's more sentimental. God always points me in the right direction. Why you say that? He just wanted me to see a profile and I don't even use Facebook. Sounds sketchy. And it's a higher risk, but if they believe in God, it's going to be green. So I said, God always points me in the right direction. She said, LOL, why you say that? I said, he just wanted me to see your profile and I don't even use Facebook. And she said, sounds sketchy. This is where I got scared. I almost fumbled. I said, if sketchy comes with you, I'm all for it. And she said, boy... I tried to clutch up, but it felt like Chris Paul hits a huge three to cut the. No, I tried to clutch back, up on for it. If it's sketchy, come. If sketchy comes with you, I'm all for it. With the nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Don't ever use this emoji with bitches, nigga. I uh, nigga, I swear to God, if I ever see any of y'all niggas use this, use this fucking emoji when y'all texting hoes, I'ma slap the shit out you. She said, "Boy, I tried to clutch up, but it felt like Chris Paul hits a huge three to cut the lead down to 42." So then I just made it a competition. I had to get her attention somehow. And I said, I'm just too much for you. I get it. And she said, you just look young. So I set my age and a math problem. He said, no way you just sent a math problem. That's kind of cute. I couldn't admire my work. I couldn't be like, oh, yeah, you know how to do it. Anything just work with bitches. Anything just work with bitches. Anything. So I just asked you from here. And she said, yes, you better be too. It's crazy how the tables turn. At first, she was being dry. And now she said, I better be from here. I'll leave Sunday. Go on here up Damn, the calculator. Keep you for real. No, but you can leave your mark. Oh, my God. I work tonight till 10, but I'm free after. This nigga got it. Yeah, this nigga got it. This bitch said, so I can't keep you. That bitch nigga say no, but you can leave your mark. Yeah, he got it. I ain't gonna lie. That was. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. You get many claps for that. You better not tell anyone about nigga. this, LOL. I promise I won't tell nobody. So, yeah, I got her number last night and we linked up. I was kind of nervous at first, and I, but after I warmed up with some drink, everything was cool. I'm drunk as fuck, man. If you want to see the aftermath, I might put all my exclusive content with my other tapes. Why score zero points on Hall of Fame when you could drop a hundred with his other tapes? Policy? There should be no V card members on this earth anymore. Quick update on the best one we found so far. So one of her close friends reached out to me and was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe she was an offender." But I think she's currently in jail. So she texted her baby daddy, and I'm just waiting to answer. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Make sure y'all go fuck with my nigga. What? Yeah, I'm not all for that at all, okay? A lot of the people on TikTok are very young. For you to show a younger generation of people how to get buns off of S offenders is maybe the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, all right? Eventually, it got to a point where the people he was looking up to have good times with, they found out about his page because of how popping the content was. People were like, wait a second, I seen your videos. You're doing the RSO tour. You're basically just here to have a good time with me and film it for your content. Honestly, I, I don't even know what to say to this shit. Bro, it ain't even Freaktober yet, and he already freaked out of his mind. This man is on a freak killing spree freak and would y'all rather my should be called brazy tober or freak tober or brazy freak tober nah that's insane <laughs> what's starting to happen now is that since his content has been popping since the japan videos the rso tour he's been getting a lot of videos made on him he's not handling the criticism well at all all right he has multiple videos on his account and even his instagram saying that people are leeching off of his content and basically stealing his bag one of the og youtubers art of kicks made a video talking about him and he reacted to the video we saying wanted that to be he called no brazy to copyright claim the video i should copyright this after i get monetized after this video i'm definitely copywriting this this shit is not okay and all i can say is this dude do not false copyright claim anyone you don't want to go down that road all right because you false copyright claiming these bigger content creators that's going to be a very asshole move of you and that's not going to end too well in your favor all right and listen man i hate to tell you this but what you're doing is not normal so people are going to have a more negative view on your video niggas said we tired of your to, ass well damn you have a playlist on your tiktok of having intercourse too bad. with random ass offenders like come on bro you literally caught gonorrhea and chlamydia in japan and kept having intercourse with the japanese women so of course that is insane
that is insane of course when people are going to make videos on you they're not gonna say oh yeah man that's the most normal shit i've seen all day oh yeah man i totally agree with this guy's doing no bro nobody's gonna agree what you're doing because what you're doing is not normal you're getting i'm not gonna lie bro every time i go on tiktok i see some wild shit that make me like close that bro today i went on tiktok i seen the frost that nigga was talking to a to a ai version of duke dennis and that nigga was saying some crazy ass shit you're having a lot of intercourse and you're making money he had a video showing that his patreon got deleted and they sent him a twenty two thousand dollar check all right and i gotta say that say, nigga like, bro, on the diddy art trip on it, you know what i'm saying like bro even though you're doing some really weird freaky stuff i wouldn't go into the whole scheme of copyright claiming other people's videos on your content all right that's false copyright claiming and if those content creators get lawyers that's something you don't want to do man i'm telling you this right now that's something you definitely don't want to do all right but yeah man he's cashing out he's got a bunch of people buying his only fans and stuff a little weird he's a 19 year old boy anybody out there that's buying a 19 year old's only fans and watching him have a good time with women <coughs> meek he talking to you meek he talking directly to you bro hey you gotta rethink your life dog you gotta really rethink what's going on here bro bro is 19 years old and you paying to watch him get it come on bro tighten up brother ugh. but listen man i said what i said i think he the freaking <laughs> nigga said i ain't right? buy that now, shit do I respect this content? <laughs> Eh, not really but bro if that's your type of content bro you making money off of it so be it bro you know what i'm saying never seen anything like this in my entire life never wanted to see anything like this in my entire life and the guy's just a straight freak ball all right it ain't even freaktober yet and he already freaked out of his mind but yo man i just want to talk about this the first ever nigga that i've ever heard call october freaktober who the fuck just be calling october freaktober this this guy's a freak in nature and i just had to get this off my chest i saw his video i think a month ago and i was like yo this guy's crazy a lot of my younger viewers that are watching this please do not be encouraged by this man right here all right find a nice girl take her on a picnic take her to a movie fucking take her to the pool get some ice cream and then you go have a good time with her over time okay is that fuck this nigga time about i hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on this big coming straight to so the crib and check out the socials join, join the, the coalition. coalition and yeah man i will see you boys in the next one all right peace Type shit. <clears throat> WV.